they were going to repoint some steps that have gotten sort of eroded over time here with quite a large uh, recess in the mortar joints and they don't match what's up here so we're going to try and put that in and in a better in a, and fill those joints up Before I do that, I have a, a little mixture here of water and um, a, a type of masonry adhesive. It's a latex glue, and I'm putting it in. I've sprayed the joints to start a suction and to make it a bit damp. And the, the suction happens between the cement, and uh, it will draw that. The, it'll start a, a bond, a mechanical bond, between the old cement and the new cement. If you try and do that dry, it doesn't work out very good. So I'll show you a little bit about how to do that. I just put a little bit of mortar on a big trowel like this, and take off a little, a little wee bit like that, and then squeeze it right in. Don't worry if it falls down. The mortar is the cheapest part of this project. And then you, you just keep filling the vertical joints until they're basically full, and. Uh, and then we'll do the horizontal joints after that. So the mortar needs to be it needs to be about that consistency, not uh, not runny, otherwise it smears the bricks up, but a, a wet enough so that it will adhere to the other cements. So I'll show you after how to do the cross joint or the, the long joints on it. So here's the tools I use for repointing the horizontal joints here, which are called the bed joints. I use a, a flat um, tuck pointer, and in this case, these come in various widths. In this case, I'm using a half inch one, and I use my large mason trowel. Uh, working in pails, I always cut the ends off those trowels. It's easier to scoop mud out of the pails, and in rep repointing, Quite often you're just using a pail, not a mortar board and everything like this, um, you would on a big job. So how to tuck point this is to just come up beside it, take a bit of mortar and shove it in. This has already been moistened by uh, with, with the spray can, uh, spray bottle with uh, a little bit of acrylic um, type of glue in it and it sets up the suction and then the, the mortar can just adhere very nicely. <laughs> when you mix the mortar, always make sure to fluff the mortar, not um, pat it down, because it's much easier to work with in a fluffy state than a, a flattened out state. So when you're mixing, always mix up and add air to it. Um, so I take a little mortar like that, and I just fill that in and then I strike it off smooth and you can basically leave it like that if you want or you can tool it like over here um, where we've tooled that side with a round joiner not sure where that round joiner is, right here we've tooled it with that and I'll show you how to do that a little later too but first I'm going to finish this off so hey, that's repointing with a tuck pointer and a squared off mason trowel. So I, I tuck it in and then I go back with the trowel and pick up the excess. Instead of smearing it in, I, I, I cut it off. And we'll come back with when I, re, when I tool these. You have to wait till the mortar gets sort of thumbprint hard, otherwise you're just smearing more mortar too wet again. So in a moment that will be hard enough like that because we're right in the sun here. And I'll show you how to join it. Thank you. So we're, we're just going to use this. This um, is called a convex jointer. Or concave, con, get concave joints with this jointer. So this is a concave, convex jointer. And we'll do the up and down ones first. You just push the mortar in. So you can see it's kind of holding its own now. And uh, and it holds it forms a waterproof uh, type of finish on it because 
just a steel trowel type finish. And we'll just do all the up and down ones for now. Because they were here longer. And then we'll wait for the I'll try one here, but this is quite a wide one, so I'm I'm tilting that a little bit. Otherwise I'd have to find a bigger jointer, which I don't have in my pail. So I'm tilting it a little bit to accommodate the wideness of this joint. And uh, trying to keep the edges clear. You have to put a, a reasonable amount of pressure on it without too much, without being too forceful. And the objective is to make it seal against the brick and push the rest of the mortar back into the other into the other mortar. So down here it's a little bit drier. And I have to push just a little bit harder. Now, it's kind of critical to get this at the right time because if you leave it too long it's uh, it turns into a real hard thing to do. If you get it too soon, it um, turns into a mushy, squishy, messy thing. So now what we do after that is you take a brush and you go at a 45, like much like you're grouting a tile or something, and always up, and pull that excess mortar off of it. without smearing too badly if you can. Uh, some people use a piece of carpet. And then this, you just go over your joints lightly now and retool the whole deal so you got a nice steel finish on that joint. That'll keep the water out, um, make the joint last much longer, and allow the brickwork to be really really effective with a, and also look nice just depends what you're doing you don't have to do this convex you don't have to use this convex jointer many times they use a just cut it off flush or they use a rake joint like over there this this is too little or too big of a rake joint because it's worn out over years but Often you use a rake joint for a half inch or a quarter inch in or three eighths. This is about three quarters, which is not appealing here. It looks worn out, washed out. So you have to do that till we got it right, and uh, and, that'll, and then we wipe it off like Roland's been going along the edges and taking a, a white cloth and just taking the uh, excess mortar off. Tomorrow we'll wash that with a little bit of muriatic acid and uh, spray, spray it with the waterproofing. Okay, great. So we've got that all repointed now. It's uh, Good. <clears throat> Let's give it a little acid wash, get rid of some of that whiteness tomorrow probably or Monday. And then watering. <laughs> okay, Roland's spraying the the little brick thing. The call wood people? Oh that was another job we did. Oh. Did no. Um, see when when the water when that acid hits the the uh, the mortar, it it actually steams. Isn't that cool? <laughs> acid washing. So that's about ten to one muriatic acid to water, and you can see how it it burns the the stains off. You have to wear protective gear, hands and face.